Swami Radha said, if you, if you do the light once a day, it will change your life. So you're able to handle the change. You, you'll be able to see the light coming through in your reflections. So that's why the light and the reflections are important. She said, if you do the light 10 times a day for 40 days, it, you will get a miracle. So there's all these ways of testing. OK, is it really there? What's going to happen? every day. Can I keep track of that? Can I find it? Ten times a day for 40 days, what's the miracle? That I was actually able to discipline myself to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and in that disciplining, then you feel that you could do the next thing, that you're, it's possible. So things become possible. But it's not that you just I mean, those birds are not just leaping out of the nest. That, that mother bird has fed them like hundreds of times a day for a long time, getting them ready to fly, showing them every day. So like there's something there. There's a greater power. There's something that's going to be helping you, nourishing you. So you are ready to take that nice and fat and plump, ready to take that step. And so you have to take it. So when there is turmoil, it's, it's to find the tools and the way to deal with it and to learn from it. Like I felt I put myself in lots of different new situations when I travel. And sometimes it just seems like, oh my goodness, why am I here? What does sannyas mean? What is yoga? Why am I in the midst of all this? And to take it and say, this is what I'm learning. In the moment, maybe it's not all there. But then I come back, and I, I can reflect on it from a distance. And then more reflection and more reflection until I get that. OK, so then I have something else to take with me. I have something else that I know that learning is not easy, maybe. But it's very important, because it clarifies things for me about what my purpose is and how the light works. Sometimes in our interactions in the ashram, there's sort of these hidden uh, things that are happening that are unspoken between people. And so they sort of cloak themselves in, in this uncomfortableness. And then we get together and talk about it, reflect together, open it up, go deeper, bring the light in, bring the practices. And there's not really much there compared to you know, what's happening in the world. And if we can get over these little turmoil, these little things, then we can understand how to do it in different places, in different ways, with different people. So it's opening up again to that, to that milk that's there in the illusion of this is, you know, somebody's rejecting me, somebody doesn't like me, I'm not good enough. All those things that we say, it's just, it's just not right. And even in the calmest moments, um, there can be things that happen that are totally surprising. And how do people react? And how do they handle that? And it was very interesting. When I was in Scotland, I was by this lovely calm palm, pond. And there are these swans swimming on it. So it had all these you know, sort of nice meditative features. And out of school came all these high school students. And they gathered on the other side of the pond. And on this side, there is people eating their lunch and a little family feeding the swans. And on the other side, these uh, high school students started beating up on one of the students. And it was like the whole place just shattered, like this image that was calm and peaceful in afternoon lunch. And, meditating, 
just broke apart and, and this young father leapt up and ran around to the other side and broke it all up and came back and I thought, that's an amazing action to take in that moment. And what, and everyone was really proud and happy that he'd taken that action. And it was like he, he acted in that moment and it was reflected back in the pond becoming calm again and the people settling down. But I just thought it was so amazing that someone acted because often in those situations people ignored or they don't know, but he was courageous enough to fly across the pond and break it up. And so every one of us has that ability to take action in a moment that seems very, very difficult whether it's within you or within other people or with other people. It's like to know that it's there. It's part of what we can do. Have that knowledge of the light, the protection. Have the will to go towards our purpose and the light and to act on it. So remember the light. Are you?